Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chris and welcome to Automotivate. I just wanted to say thank you for my subscribers for staying tuned and welcome to any new ones. Sorry for the inconsistent uploads. It is hard trying to juggle college, work, my hobbies, and YouTube. Well, let's go ahead and get to the video. Today, I will go over 8 of the most reliable cars that can last 400,000 miles. Keep in mind, there are limits out there, so not every car I list will last this long. Number 1 is a Mercedes 240D. This car is beautiful, and the more we keep on the road, the better in my opinion. The car Mercedes-Benz High Mileage Champ is, I'm going to try not to butcher this, but Gregorios Sachinidis, a Greek taxi driver who holds the known record of more than 2.8 million miles in his 1976 Mercedes-Benz 240D. This car would be perfect in the zombie pockets because it can run with a variety of different fuels besides diesel, like vegetable oil. Also, this car can run without a battery and alternator. It is a dinosaur and that's a good thing. It doesn't require any crazy electronics to run, so no limp modes for no reason. However, the downfall to this invincible car is that you could probably outrun it. It has less than 70 horsepower and the 060 is, well, enough sheep to fall asleep to. Number 2 is a Ford Ranger 1996 era. It's cheap, simple, and durable. No one would imagine a Ford reaching 400,000 miles. Both the Ford Ranger and the Ford Explorer can last over 400k. Check out the forums, many owners report their vehicles lasting this long with normal maintenance. It is incredible to think that these trucks are this reliable. I personally am not a Ford fan, but this is not a bad buy if you like Fords. Number 3 is a Honda Civic Accord. 25 to 31 miles per gallon and years from 1992 and on. It's truly a great car. It's no surprise that a Honda can last for 100,000 miles. If you go on YouTube and look up Honda Accord for 100,000 miles, there will be a number of videos of the odometer rolling over. Some of these Accords actually reach a million miles. The added benefit to these cars is their decent gas mileage. It's not a show car, but it is a great car to have as a backup car. Number 4 is a Chevy Tahoe up to the 3rd generation because the new ones probably hasn't gotten this high mile so we don't know yet. But reading reviews and consumer reports, years from 1999, these trucks can outlast 300,000 miles without any issues. With regular maintenance, you can drive these trucks for 100,000 miles. There are some reports of pistons slapping around 200,000 miles, but the owners admitted to rough driving. Nevertheless, these trucks are worth the buy. Number 5 is Toyota Land Cruiser. Everyone and their mama knows that the Land Cruiser is meant to outlast generations. Everything built for this car is meant to last. There is a good reason that these cars are so expensive, even at high miles. These are beautiful SUVs that can take over the off-road and not break. Number 6 is a Volvo 240D. 21 to 28 miles per gallon and 114 horsepower. The Volvo 240 definitely is not the most beautiful car, but something about it says that the driver is someone who cares, an old person, or a highly vocal liberal. Also, it is common to see this car in a 5 speed manual. Either way, it will last 400,000 miles before it will need some sort of engine rebuild. Keep up the maintenance in this car and you will be surprised. Number 7 is the Crown Victoria, 1997 to 2011. The Crown Victoria is known for reliability and first came out in 1992. The Interceptor became in service from 1997 to 2011 and that's when the Ford stopped making any more units. I would go for the Interceptor because these cars are usually maintained excellently. But if the car was used more for the highway use, it will last longer contrary to the city use. Nevertheless, the car should last a long time. Why else does any cab driver anywhere drives them? Number 8 is generally most to any diesel powered engines and Chevy and GM trucks past 1999. Do I need to explain it anymore? How about I talk about the bad ones, like the Ford Super Duty, because Ford eats up head gaskets. Well, if you made it this far in my video, Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to check out my channel. 
I have many videos about cars within a certain price range and a few repair videos. I hope everyone has a great day. I'll see you next time.